Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome! And, as promised, I'm gonna stop being as lazy as I was last month, and the free-for-the-month assets from the Unreal 4 or the Epic Games Marketplace. Alright, if you're not familiar with what's going on with that, then you go to the Marketplace, you scroll down, and you will see free-for-the-month right here. If for some reason you don't want to scroll all the way down, or you don't see it, or whatever else, you go to free and free for the month. And every month they're averaging about five per month, and it refreshes on the first of each month. Uh, month before last, I think there was ten, but that's unusual. Normally it's five. They also give away a free game uh, too. But for the Unreal Four. Um, the Unreal Engine marketplace. Uh, last month I failed to get out any kind of reviews or anything on it and I apologize for that. I did <laughs> put out a video yesterday, the day before they went away. Uh, that wasn't much good for a lot of people, but at least hopefully you were able to, to grab a hold of them. This month um, the five of them that show up, and let's go ahead and hit back and I'm look at it in the normal view is the Dynamic Combat System Magic. Okay, I'm going to showcase this one, this one, and this one at the same time. Three of them in one one shot. So the other um, environment set, really good looking environmental um, stuff like terrain, rocks, trees, foliage, things of that nature. Um, there are two other ones that I have not looked at yet, which is the Footstep Sounds with Blueprints. That should be relatively simple to do. Um, but we'll look at this one at a later time. And next is a generic NPC anim, anim pack, which I am going to include in this video as well. Um, then there's the Survivor Vision Advanced something. Um, so this one and this one I'm not going to look at just yet. But in this video we're going to cover the Dynamic Combat System Magic User Environment Set and Generic NPC. And we'll start with the generic NPC, and no, this is not the ground that comes with it. It was just really, really bland, so I changed it out. And the character we're using to walk around with is from the Dynamic Combat System. Which we'll review them separately. So, with these animations, we'll just walk around take a look at them. And um, see what's there. You see this guy's playing guitar, and got a bunch of them that are just like pedestrian style uh, animations. Like cheering, and so forth. We'll look at the individual animations separate in just a moment. This guy's a little bit on the stinky side and everybody's kind of pointing and laughing at him and you know, dude back there is doing a face palm. Got some guys working on stuff and cleaning. This guy's hammering on something like a blacksmith. And it's basic conversations. If you're doing military stuff and you need a salute animation, there you go. These guys are kind of formed up stretching and getting ready to exercise. kind of cool. Lots of idols and animations for like conversation. Um, yeah, this guy's really enthralled by that guy's um, guitar playing. And it looks like they're set up to look like merchants. And if I remember correctly, there is 69ers to throw animation, which will come in quite handy for anybody want to throw grenades or anything like that. Clapping... So yeah, you could never have too many frickin' animations. Seriously. Holding a baby. Dude scratching there. I'm gonna <clears throat> reach down and readjust there. So with those animations, uh, the generic NPC anim set or anim pack is gonna come with 69 different animations, from you know like blacksmithing to all sorts of different ones. There's no excuse not to grab this one because they're set up to use the UE4 um, mannequin. There's just no reason not to get this um, asset pack, really and truly. Um, like I said, you can never have too many animations. Even if you just don't add it to um, your asset pack and just pull one animation in or another, um, it's small. I think it's like 38 megabytes, so it's not like it's going to be really, really intensive. Grab them, retarget them dump the originals and go from there. Um, 
there's just no reason not to get this one. It's decent animations, and uh, yeah, if you're setting up background NPCs or montages for salutes and waves and things like that or taunts, some of these can be used pretty well for taunts. So, um, yeah, there, there's just no reason not to get this one. I mean, I, I can't suggest it enough to say, okay, these are good animations, they look decent, they're smooth, they're clean. Again, just get it. It's free. There's no reason for you to not go ahead and get this one. All right, so to combine two, the other two together at one time, you can see when I hit play, the... Um, a dynamic combat system, there will be one thing that I'm going to say definitely off the bat negative about this. That animation for walking and that standing animation. I'm sorry. Um, it just... it It's not a very good animation. Yeah, you got some lean whenever you're walking or you're running or whatever. You can sprint. And there is lean, but that animation, when you're standing there at that pose, and you're walking, you may like it, I just don't. That's I just don't like that animation set. Um, for using the magic, you can left-click, and it brings up a crosshair, and your number one spell right now is uh, Fireball. You can... Yeah, the, the, the animations don't look that great for it. It's just the, the arm placement... The back is leaned too far to the back, and it just kind of walks like he's got something showed up his ass. I've used the other, um, the original dynamic combat system, and it's a uh, sword and shield animation. It, they're, it's good. It, they're, it's a good asset pack. You know, I'd redesign the the widgets for the, um, you know, naturally for the the mana, the stamina, and the health, and the action bars and that kind of stuff. It's like right now, if you want to use your potion, you hit F, you'll drink a potion, it takes it out of your inventory. You can hit I for your inventory, you can see what your, um, I don't even know what some of these other ones are, you got like a vampire thing, that looks like a gorilla, but um, you've got other spells you can use, I'm just using the default ones that are there by default. Um, number two is, um, well, like a small area of attack. Number three is kind of cool. It's kind of a whirlwind attack. Number four is actually a teleport. It's kind of hard to see on grass the um, the circle for where it actually goes, but it's a teleport spell. Number five is... Yeah, none of it's replicated. Um, is a heal. Just like the original dynamic. And, and good to see you again, John. I ain't seen you in forever, man. Need you, um, like, coming into my videos and poking fun at my, my crap multiplayer replication. Who else is going to harass me about it? So, it's actually, it, it's it's a good, oh, it's free, so it's, it's definitely worth the money. Um, but... It's pretty good. Other than the animations and the lack of replication, it's it's good. Yeah, I've had some some besides, you know, taking care of home business, I've also been dealing with medical issues again. I'm trying to get my video counts back up, my stream counts back up. But uh yeah. Been having issues with cysts um that um I have two of them right now that are being problematic, but uh, yeah, we won't get into that right now. Um, I'm just going to go to, and I started setting up um, on the environment set. Looks nice. The, uh, the foliage and stuff looks pretty good. Um, so what I've actually done is, instead of it just being, oh, this is so pretty to look at, you know, I'm like, okay, then we'll walk around in it. Uh, what I've done is actually placed some of the spawned minion creatures, and uh, of course, an Avmesh bounds and give something to attack. Well, that's good. Hopefully, it, it's working out for you. Well, that's, that's good to hear, man. 
So I've changed the color of the character to blue. It was originally white and just too painful to look at. So if you're rapid firing, kicking out your um, your number one spell, which is your fireball, it will alternate hands. Um, so you can see when you change your spell, it actually changes it right above your your lower left uh, taskbar. But I would like a more of a permanent um, crosshair because whenever you're getting ready to fire off that, um, you don't see where you're aiming, and you kind of get used to it pretty quick. But you know, so I place a couple of these minions around. Um, I know that I'm old and shit, so the, the actual mage AI that comes with this is just a little bit too good, and yeah, it kicks my ass every time I try to put one in, because as you start attacking him, he'll frickin' teleport, and when he teleports, you don't know where he's gonna land, it could be behind you, and then he's full health whenever he does um, teleport, so you get him down to below half health, and then suddenly he teleports, and then comes back behind you full health, and he's throwing fireballs at your ass at a high rate, that you, you can't even see him, so it's just annoying as crap. Oh, come on, come on, come get me. I'll just do a... We'll let him actually hit me this time. So, and kill him, and I can hit the F key to drink a potion. I'll drink another potion. And we'll finish it off by hitting number five, and left click and hold for healing spell. You hit the K for key bindings. Um, I don't like the jump. The jump, you have to hold down the space and shift. Because if you just hit the space bar, he does a roll. And why he's doing going backwards now? I mean, if I'm walking forward and I hit space, then he'll roll forward. If you're just standing still, he'll jump back. Use a pretty fair amount of stamina whenever you, you do your jump. The environment, this actually looks pretty good, and it's got a little solar flare thing going on. Um, I mean, the materials look pretty good. I know this is looking at it in a, a small window, but still, I mean, it's not too shabby. So I wanted to do both. Oh, um, still on my healing spell. So these, these minions don't drop any loot. I, I haven't really experimented with this much, but I know that with... Oh, I see another bad guy coming. I just wanted to add both of them in together because I figure, you know what the hell, the demonstration map for the dynamic combat system was just uh, two rooms. And it wasn't really interesting to look at. Um... And after looking at this map here, it was like, wow, oh shit, get off my ass. What's wrong with you? Um, thought it was actually pretty good. So now for me to jump over this, I have to hold shift and then spacebar so I can jump. Oh, sneak up on my ass like that. What's wrong with you, boy? Out of mana. All right, so there's no melee, so you have to rely on on the magic. All those animations. Ugh. I think what actually have to have um, the standard UE4 animations for walking, and I, I'd have to to redo this. So for your casting and other stuff. All right, I guess that would be okay. But I'd want them to go back to the standard UE4 animations for walking. These animations are a little bit stick up the ass um, kind of vibe to them. But again, this is free. Uh, like I said, I've used the original Dynamic Combat, which is um, oh, that is so irritating. And it's not that difficult to actually um, change out the controls. But since there is a key binding um, widget, oh, you suck. Um, you'd actually have to go in there and change it in this widget because it is a widget that's actually showing on the screen there when you hold down the K key. Um, weapon ability thumb mouse. I don't have a thumb mouse. 
have a left and a right and a mouse wheel. And right mouse doesn't do anything, and mouse wheel doesn't do anything. So, not happy with the key bindings, but it is changeable. That's relatively easy to change. Um, if you want to change the key bindings, it is dynamic combat, blueprints, BP combat character, and then you get your key binding widget, and it shows what's what there for what you know the, the widget is and loading the the widget. Um, everything is neatly organized for the most part into actual um, collapsed nodes. So, where is... There's a save game feature too, which is nice. It's nice to see that they're done this way instead of actually bound to axis mapping, which I'm not a fan of for an asset you're going to modify to other stuff. It's a create project as opposed to add to project. So there's that. Um, combat input... So just be a matter of actually finding the equipment events, and you see right here it's using input action, input action, finding the one that you want to remap, like for jump, just find where it is and change it that way. Here's K and L for the um, L will actually if you're playing and you get killed or whatever else let's go ahead and let this dude eat me here and so I change the character to blue because the white is just too painful on most environments and then kill me okay so I'm dead I can hit L and it will reset the level Do like the little particle effect for whenever they uh, they vanish. That's kind of cool. Um, but you can also hit L again, which all L is going to do is just restart the entire level. May not be what you want to do. There's a save game feature as well, but show key bindings, hide key bindings. Eh, okay. Um, open, close, interaction. Activities, events, targeting, ability, state machine events, no idea, but I'd, once you find them, this example, let's look in here, on effects applied uh, timeline I haven't actually spent a whole lot of time with this like I said I just got these downloaded got the project set up and just pile these three in here so I could take a look at them all three at one time because you know if I decide I want to use this cool but between the eight tenths of a gigabyte for one of them, and I think was it a gigabyte for the other one? The animations one was really small, but the uh, the other two were almost a gig a piece. And I'm sure that will compress down whenever you're you're packaging. But all right, movement, roll and jump. There we go. Input action roll and input action jump. These are actually set up as key bindings. So this is where you would actually go to change those. Since you can see that this is jump and this is that. You can see the key is roll, key is jump. Um, I don't like the way that they're set up. So if you go to project settings, input. You got action mappings and axis mapping. All right, jump and roll right there. So jump is spacebar plus shift. 
roll is spacebar by itself. So what I'm going to do here is, just for shits and grins, I'm going to remove the check mark from here and add it to there. So now if you want to roll, it's a shift and, and spacebar, whereas the jump is just spacebar only. So now I'm going to go in here, I can just hit the spacebar and jump. If I want to roll, hold down shift and spacebar. To me that seems more natural. If I want to jump, I just want to hit the spacebar key. I don't want to have to think before I'm able to jump. Um, you can roll to the sides and roll back, roll forward and that kind of stuff. But you burn through stamina pretty damn quickly though. I would imagine also um, for controlling stamina, find the settings in here where you can actually tune tune that a little bit for the actual stamina use. Um, so when you actually do your rolls and jumps, you're not burning as much stamina. Um, thought in the past they had theirs set up off of the um, the base component. Um, sprint cost stamina, there you go, and roll cost, Let's open this up, stored movement state, idle, so roll stamina cost is 25, I'll pull that down to 10. Um, sprint stamina cost, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I was pretty sure they had all of it piled up in here to where you could change those variables to it. Um, but I also looked to see what the um, the fireball... Let's see... What the hell? Get back up there. Uh, let's see here. So what else has been going on? I added a new channel in, in my Discord channel, or new category or whatever. That's uh, the stupid news event um, and that kind of stuff. Like the, uh, the guy earlier this morning who was obviously not paying attention or was just being an idiot and drove through a construction zone. Uh, ran into a crane and died as a result of it. And, you know, some of the people that were interviewed about it, oh, it's terrible, I always hate to see someone get hurt, or... You know, I look at it like this. If, A, you knew that there was a construction zone there, because this is um, probably somebody who's been up and down that, that section of interstate more than once, if he's a resident, but... Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's what I was thinking too. Probably looking at his cell phone or texting. It was almost three o'clock in the morning. Totally not paying attention. A known construction site that's been there for more than a week or more, and uh, probably more than that, but uh, totally just blew right through the freaking construction zone, uh, through the barrels and everything else, and slammed head on into um, a construction crane and died. And all I can think of is, finally, stupid hurts, and in this case, the idiot is the one that came out on the bottom. Usually, it's some idiot plows through a crowd of people because he was texting, or, or she was texting, or on their phone, or whatever else, and wasn't paying attention, and almost run over somebody, and ended up um, plowing through and killing an innocent bystander. So, thankfully, stupid hurt the the right person this time. Yes, it was going to bug me that that was like that. Um, I'm glad nobody else got hurt, but I'm glad he was taken out of the frickin' gene pool. If you're that stupid, you don't deserve to, to be able to, to stay in the gene pool. Oh, that's such a terrible thing to say. No, it's not. Um, like I said, how many times have you heard of a drunk driver that... Um, drove across the center line and hit somebody else. The other driver died at the scene, but the drunk you know, wasn't hurt or 
wasn't hurt very much. I, I personally know of a case that someone that was a definite menace, drug user, heavy drinker, just royal piece of shit, um, was intoxicated and high, so under the influence of drugs and alcohol, and was driving like a complete and utter maniac. Drove across um, the center divider of, of an interstate, hitting an oncoming car that was filled with people that were on their way on a vacation, and killed three of the five occupants of the vehicle, the big SUV, and seriously injured the other one or two people that were in there. But killed three people in the process. And yeah, he got hurt pretty good. But when they finally cleared him in the hospital to actually be transported to jail where he belonged, um, and I knew the guy. He was actually um, worked for a local telephone company until they fired him for his drug use and for stealing from the damn service truck. And um, yeah, he was one of my customers at my car stereo shop and put this $2,000 sound system in his SUV, which the very next weekend he goes out drunk and, and everything else and comes back, hey, my stereo is not working. I need you to fix it. I go out there and this high-end, you know, plexiglass cover was on the the amp rack was kicked out. There's footprints on it, so you know it was kicked out. Um, stuff was physically broken from being kicked and knocked around. So I'm like, yeah, this is not covered under your warranty, bro. It's going to cost you 300 bucks for me to to do the service to replace all this shit. And he got all pissed off and shit. But, you know, fuck him. But, yeah, he had the nerve to, while he's in prison, had to keep him in a solitary cell because of his injuries and crutches and everything else. I couldn't put him in general population. So he had the nerve to get pissed off that he was stuck in general, you know, in a, you know, solo confinement cell. In a solitary confinement, and that you know can't understand why he's being kept in jail. Look, you realize you killed three fucking people and, and seriously injured two others. You don't understand what you did was fucking wrong. You know, you can just rot your ass in this fucking cell for all I give a shit. You know, but yeah, way too often the the wrong people get hurt, and this time. The right person got hurt. He deserved what he got. Should have been paying attention to what the fuck he was doing. And then again, what's he doing at 3 o'clock in the morning cruising around? Maybe, you know, if he was coming home from work, whatever. But I don't know many jobs that let out at that time of the morning. But yeah, I set up a channel just for, you know, stupid news. Talking about idiot people and how they, you know, get what they deserve. Uh, the other topic was um, that I put in there was about um, let's see it's called The Beef is the name of the room so I'm going to do another video that's about that here in a little while too um, but the, yeah this this video here was primarily just about these uh, three assets because like I said last month I totally did not cover any of them and since they are free there's no point to not get the generic animation pack just simply because you can never have too many animations. If you need decent foliage and, and this kind of stuff, the environment set looks pretty good. Um, I'm all about that. The dynamic combat system, I like it, but it's of limited use. Uh, I always warn people about OPS or OPP or what have you. Oh, that's cool. What kind of specs on the uh, the new PC? Yeah, I, I warn people about using other people's projects or other people's assets or OPS, other people's shit. <laughs> or, or stuff, or code, or scripts, or blueprints, or whatever else. Because if you're just blindly downloading assets from the marketplace, oh, this is awesome, I can use this and, and instantly have a game. If you're just trying to make asset flips, you know, you could just grab this, switch the character out, um, you know, hell, you could, if you want to really go cheap on swapping out, you can go right to Mixamo and grab a character from Mixamo and jump right in and be able to uh, do a quick asset flip. 
definitely would make up a, a little bit nicer um, UI. Rearrange the blueprint, not blueprints, the, uh, the widgets. And I would seriously look at the replication aspect of this if you wanted it to be multiplayer. But if you just want to quickly turn out a single player game that's fun for you to, to screw around with, this would be it. Jump in, make a cool map, go from it, go from there. I need to upgrade my RAM. I, I really haven't looked much at the new 2K cards, the, the RTX cards. I mean, I've seen like Linus Tech Tips and other reviews and stuff like that talking about them. But you know, I mean, for if you think about it, the stats on this this PC here is definitely not. Um, new and up to date by any means. I mean, I'm using a AMD what was it uh 8350 black edition. What the hell? Texture screen pool over 40 megabyte budget. Yeah. That's something that's kind of common with um the dynamic combat system. Their stuff tends to to go over the texture streaming pool for some reason. I've seen that in the uh, the original Dynamic Combat system as well. But yeah, I'm mean, running the um, 8350 Black Edition. I'm running 16 gigs of. Uh, would you give me my freaking mana back? Thank you. Of the RAM speed is like 26, 2660 or something like that, um, or 1866. Is the the max before you can before you have to overclock it? So I, I picked whatever the, the max was to go with this uh, um, 899 type gaming motherboard. Um, at 16 gigs, I can quickly add another 16 on top of it. Um, so I, I wanted to have a certain level of specs. I went with the um, GTX 1066 gig, and I've been pretty happy with it. You know, uh, I knew that I was going to be running Windows 7, so I kind of built the system around Windows 7 architecture. Yeah, you know, the old PC that's actually decent specs. You know, I'm not a an Intel fan for processors. I've I've always just run AMD processors. But I don't run AMD video. <laughs> um, you know, a, a good use for old PCs that are still serviceable and working fine. Uh, I actually ran one for quite a while as a, um, like, a, in the living room for entertainment wise. Of course, I get all my entertainment from the computer, so it's not really that big of a deal, but, um, you know. For the longest time, you couldn't get smart TVs and shit like that. So uh, what I was doing was running um, a computer in the living room to run like videos and YouTube and and so forth. In fact, um, in my bedroom, I've got a 32-inch 1080p TV that's actually hooked up to um, an old laptop. I mean, we're talking about Windows Vista laptop. It doesn't have to do anything but run YouTube. Um, You know, just for basic running YouTube and putting on boring videos that I know, like um, science videos or chemistry or or um, documentaries of some sort. You know, shit like that. It's got a nice boring drone to it. Well, see, that would be cool. You know to have a nice giveaway because there's people out there that like my little tater farmer my boy Adlane that's my buddy my pal he um, lives in Algeria he's in a poor area and just really couldn't afford to buy a high end PC and his laptop that he was using it died and the boy's got talent you know, 
he was picking up on things, I mean, really quickly when it, it came to Unreal Engine 4. And, uh, you know, was really impressed. He's a good kid. It really is. Um, and I always said that, you know, if I had the extra money, I, I'd hook the boy up. Just because, I mean, he, he is one of the, the few people that I know that actually, I'm not saying anything about my other viewers and that kind of stuff, but if he's one that I know that he deserves a good break. So whenever his PC died, he's been unable to do anything with Unreal Engine and you know, stuff he was doing for school and whatnot. But, you know, he uh, he still stays in touch over his, he uses his cell phone to get on Discord. So, But if I ever do upgrade my PC, then, you know, he's one that I would definitely consider. I know you'd have to change something with the, uh, the power supply, but, you know, because I'm sure they're not running 110 volt uh, wall outlets. Um, can you fall off the world? Yay, no blocking volume. So, um, yeah, it's just the thing. I would, you know, hook my boy up. But everybody knows somebody that really could use something like that. And, mm, coffee that's still warm. Usually. Let my coffee get cold while I'm doing his videos. Yeah, I mean, I've seen some of the shit you could do with that PC and UE4 and stuff. So I know, I mean, it, it had to be decent enough to work with. It had 1050. But you had good drives, too. So I, you think I'm still using... Yeah. All of my drives are Western Digital, uh, Blues, and I think one's a green. But I've got a, a half terabyte and two one terabytes. One of the one terabytes is a green. Been happy with them. I mean, like I said, this, this computer was based off of running Windows 7 and... I know that I'm pretty much screwed at the end of the year because they are no longer going to be supporting any of the security functionality of um, Windows 7 at the end of the year. And I never upgraded to Windows 10 whenever I could have done it free, and I'm pretty sure I probably still can. But, you know, this system was built based off of DirectX 11 and Windows 7, Yes, I'm only getting 60 FPS on the monitors, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I can still get it free. I've seen some some websites that point you in the right direction for doing it. I just I haven't done it because I I'm perfectly happy with Windows 7. I don't need to change, but I'm being forced to change because of security reasons. I'll no longer be able to to get updates on certain things and that kind of shit, because they're turning their back on Windows 7 and anything that they can't quickly monetize. It's so much easier on Windows 10 for them to be able to sell your frickin' life um, and all your data and all your um, personal information, your mouse clicks and your web preferences and your porn preferences and everything else, because, you know, Windows 10 is so full of frickin' spyware. And yeah, you can disable 99% of it, but there's always going to be something hidden in the backbone back there where they can keep uh, mining your data and there's really not a, much you can do about it you, you you can think that you've got it all but you'll never get it all out as long as you're connected to the internet Microsoft's still farming your shit man and that's what's bugged me about Windows 10 from the get go it was uh, cloud computing and, and um, I'm not saying that all data stuff is bad like Google Google Maps and if you've got an Android phone your GPS is built in to automatically work with the 911 system so if you are for better or for worse if you get into an accident and you're unable to talk but you can dial 911 they can track the location of your phone and send help to you or send someone out to find out why you're dialing 911 and not talking um, but also, um, if you make this, the same commute every day to work and from work to home, 
back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Google Maps and Google will actually detect that this must be your home location and this must be your work location and this is your daily commute. Now if you've got your phone up on the mount on your dashboard, Google Maps running, Google Maps can notify you of an accident ahead and give you a quick option for hitting the screen and, and giving you navigation to a faster route to get around the accident. So there's some cool features that the shit can do if you want to leave that open. So there's there's a lot of stuff that is non-malicious. I, I need to find a, a restaurant nearby or a gas station nearby and things of that nature. Yeah, there's some good reasons to have Google um, knowing your location and that kind of stuff. Going on your browser and, and looking for, you know, furniture or whatever, you know. So there's good shit involved in it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. This is going on 40 minutes, and you know, I was only planning on doing about 20, 25 on this one. But whatever. Always good to see you. I'm going to take a break for a little while. Then I'm going to do my where's the beef, uh, or here's the beef, or what, what WTF, or whatever. My ignorant news to talk about the uh, the idiot that uh, drove under the, cr under the crane in the uh, construction zone and lost his head. And I'm going to talk about later on the next stream about all the people who are going to storm Area 51 and that whole bullshit. I posted on the um, Discord channel three images that are really good reasons um, to not storm Area 51. I'll show those in the video as well. So I'll just wrap this up and... Well, thank you, everybody, for stopping by. And I'm going to close down this thing, too. And I'm going to do that other video, and I'm going to goof off. It's, you know, between. This is, I'm doing videos Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And this was just an extra video because I mentioned last night that to make up for the fact that I did not um, showcase the, uh, which I'll go back into it real quick, the free for the month assets. And in this one video, I showed three. So um, every month, the marketplace has come on, marketplace. Thank you. Um, has free for the month assets. So they're usually worth checking out. Stylized countryside, but it's hard to get past to the U Chinese too. And since John is here. While you're, you, do you still have anything else in there? No. I am John Galt, sir. I am John Galt 75, or I think it was. But I know John used to have things on the marketplace, and we won't get into that. Cause, but, you know, different topic. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Love you guys, and not just when it's cold. We will see you soon. Like I said, I'll do another video here shortly on the stupid news. But make sure you stop by and get your free stuff. See ya.